in this session I'm going to show you um, how to use the repeat instruction so we will do two of these exercises again I'll get you started um, we'll do power cell 7 and I'll get you started with your assignment number 3 which is Easter eggs 2 so let's go ahead and do power cell 7 and if we hit F1 notice it says provide the six robots with a power cell using a loop so it is very important that you use a loop and in fact they have given you the code here which is pretty much all you need to do is copy this code and paste it and we'll see what it does so if you click on your wheels grabber and go into edit mode and that's the same code that's there notice we are repeating it says repeat we are repeating six times we grab we turn we drop and then we turn again we move forward to the next one so it's pretty much the same code that we wrote um, last time but we are using the repeat instruction instead of rewriting this code over and over so if we take a quick look and see how it is and we speed it up so we can see it go faster it and it's done so essentially we don't rewrite code we use the repeat instruction um, to repeat a certain section of the code so now let's go back and do the same with your assignment let's take a look at it and see what you need to do I will get you started and then you can see which part of the code is repeated um, so let's go to F1 notice it says use a loop to pass over all the blue crosses remember that each barrier is five meters long so that's all you need to remember each barrier is five meters long so let's go ahead and go here and we can do this two different ways or more different ways you can go back and go forward turn right and go this way or you can go forward turn to your right and go backwards so there are many different ways in which you can write your code the goal is to not repeat code but to use the repeat instruction so I'm going to show you what we're going to do we're going to move forward and that would be about 10 then we are going to turn to our right so we can go back turning to our right would mean minus 90 then we're going to move back minus 10 let's see how that looks so far click OK and you run it notice it goes forward turns goes backwards then it hits that cross and that's all we have done so far what we need to do if you go on the click on the minus sign we need to come forward all the way here which would be 20 then turn to the right again and go back so let's go into our code and write that let's say move forward all the way 20 and then we turn minus 90 again and since we'll be moving backward we move minus 10 so let's see where that gets us now we want to start over so I'm going to click on the return to start button and we're going to start over and speed it up a little bit we go forward 20 which is what we said turn around go back 10 and that's what we have now notice you can already see a pattern some of this code that's being repeated nine turn move and move forward turn again to your right move backward and if you look here the next thing we are going to have to do is to move forward 20 again so you can see there is a pattern so you can go ahead and write your code out and then substitute take only the code that is repeated and use a repeat instruction decide how many times you want to repeat it and you're going to take the code that keeps repeating itself and you're going to put it in here and see how that works and of course if the code is repeated you may not need some of those 
so I will leave that up to you to edit it and figure out the rest of your assignment.